So Texas, as hundreds, forced their way onto the Paso del Norte International Bridge. Men, women, and children pushing Mexican soldiers out of the way in an attempt to enter the U.S. It seems they were misinformed, said this Mexican official, telling our Telemundo affiliate they were told they would be allowed into the U.S. once at the port of entry. Don't know. Uh, who did that uh, or why they did that. Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar saying the bridges were built for trade and tourism and immigration is now stressing the system. Uh, my district, uh, South Texas, people don't want to see this. They want to see a orderly process. Customs and Border Protection responding with barricades and additional officers to stop the migrants. The crowd, including migrants from Venezuela seeking asylum, like this man telling our affiliate he's been waiting too long at the border and couldn't delay anymore. This woman adding the phone app used by U.S. authorities to process asylum requests has not worked for her. This type of situation does not help their cause. Uh, we need to make sure uh, that uh, people that want to come over we have law and order at the border. U.S. border officials say two other international bridges in the area were affected by other groups of migrants coming from Ciudad Juarez. I just saw everyone reporting. Understand what they're going through, but I think that they need to do it the right way. This is not the first time a large group arrives this way at the port of entry. In 2018, members of a migrant caravan attempted to force their way through the San Isidro port of entry in San Diego border there shut down temporarily as the migrants were stopped. The incident forcing officials to tighten security. But the border in that region still strained. Just this weekend, eight people died after two suspected smuggling boats crashed north of the city, according to the Coast Guard and CBP. Back in Texas, the border bridge has reopened, but thousands still waiting in Mexico as the migrant crisis continues. And Vlad Venegas joins us live in studio. Vlad, I knew you had a chance to speak to the congressman. What more did he tell you about how Mexico and the U.S. can cooperate in light of this recent incident? Well, Morgan, Congressman Cuellar told me that federal officers on the American side are speaking to Mexican federal officers all the time, trying to coordinate as best as possible. Now, we saw in the images that a lot of these Mexican soldiers were overpowered by the crowds. So Cuellar did tell me that there could be more resources going to the border on the Mexican side to help with this issue. We know that hundreds of migrants are arriving on a daily basis at different cities along the Mexican border and there just isn't enough resources when it comes to those Mexican federal officers to support the American CBP officers, Morgan.